So today we read a very important story in the Bible. We read the Gospel. It's a story about a man who went away and he gave his servants talents. So this is called the parable of the talents, meaning the story of the talents. So this man, he represents God. He gave his three servants three different sets of talents, each according to their own ability. To one he gave five, to the other two, and to the other servant he gave one. Now the one with the five, he worked very hard in his life. He used his talents. So just like all of us are different, each of us has our own beauty and our own talents. So we're supposed to use these talents. First we have to find these talents. Sometimes we don't know how good we are at something until we try it, right? But once we know what our talents are, we're supposed to use them. And we're supposed to contribute that to the rest of the world. We're supposed to help our family, our friends, our church, our school, and those around us. And that is how we help the entire world, by helping those whom we touch in our lives. So the one with the five talents turned it into how many? Ten talents. He doubled it. <clears throat> the one with the two talents, he did the same thing. Even though he just had two talents, he worked very hard and he doubled it. And he made two more talents. Two plus two is four. It's a math class too, this, this parable. <laughs> And the last one, he took his one talent. He was not a good kid, this one. He went and he hid his talent, right? Even though he had a talent, he didn't use it. He hid it. He went and dug it up in the ground. And then the landowner came back and he was very pleased with the other two servants. And he said, enter into the joy of your Lord. You've done well. I will give you much more and you will have abundance. But to this servant, he went, dug it up, and brought back the one talent. And he told the master, I knew you were a bad man. You sowed where you did not reap, and you take and take and take from all of us. Right? And so... Not only did he hide his talent, he had a pretty bad attitude. So us too, when we hide our talents, when we, for instance, I'll give you some examples you might understand. Maybe you're on the iPad too much, or you're on the video games too much, and your parents tell you, stop, right? It's not because there's anything wrong with the video games. Right? It's okay to play video games and on your iPad sometimes, but it's not okay to do it too much. Because when you do it too much, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is sharing your talent, no matter what that is. Right? Uh, cleaning your room, going to school, right? All of us have the same duties, going to work. And uh, then, of course, is sharing your beauty, your talent. So when we don't listen to our parents, our teachers, our priest, um, and our respected elders, <clears throat> it is like we are hiding our talent. And was the landowner happy with this wicked servant? And he had a bad attitude on top of that? No, he was not happy at all. He told them, take him away. So for us, it's not that hard to please God, our parents, our conscience, right? We can always be happy and productive and make Jesus Christ happy with us if we find our talents and we use them and listen to those who are um, wiser than us, like our parents and our elders. So God bless you. We hope to see you on the Zoom call. Um, every Tuesday from uh, 4 years old to 12.
Uh, if you're not on the call or your parents don't have the information, please have them contact me or any of the youth advisors and we will gladly let you on. And for the young adults, we have every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, please contact us if you wish to be a part of that. God bless you all.